Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. It is the end of May 2020, and society is starting to return to some semblance of normal after the whole COVID-19 mess that we have all lived through. So, yesterday I went sourcing at one of my favorite stores. I haven't been there for a while. Um, it is a large discount warehouse. It's about a 45-minute drive from my house. And when I say large, I mean it's like three football fields under one roof. The thing is massive. But I love sourcing there because I never know what I'm going to find, and you know how how much I love surprises. Anyway, um, I spent a lot of money, I'm gonna make a lot of money, and I have some really valuable lessons to teach you, so hang on. First of all, on the way there, I found a garage sale. So I got this cool old calculator for a dollar that should sell for about 20 bucks. I got some fun old games. This heater has a sold listing on eBay just from last week for 30 bucks. I only paid two for it. This puzzle, I've actually sold this puzzle before, but I never sold it in sealed condition that thing is sealed i paid eight dollars for that and i will list that for my magic price of 42.75 yay jeff all right let's start on the stuff from the discount warehouse um this comforter set here had a rank and it had no sellers i found a lot of things at this warehouse that had rank and no sellers so you know what that means that means there is demand and there's no supply so i am happy to be the supply I paid 15 bucks for this. Well, Jeff, if there's no other sellers, how do you know what to list it for? This is where Keepa comes in very, very handy. So you copy the ASIN, you put it into Keepa, and it will show you the Amazon history for this item. The last time this comforter set sold was around 60 bucks, so I will make a lot of money there. Tenergy Electric Kettle, they only had two of these. I would have grabbed more if they had more. I uh, paid 15 bucks. There is only one on Amazon right now. It's merchant fulfilled in used condition for $50. So that will be a lot of good money. Got some glass sets, Anchor Hawking. These spiral jars are so cool. I wish they had more of these too. I paid $4 for those. They are selling for 20. Okay, here is one item and there's gonna be several like this where I did not clean off the shelf. I only bought five of these to test. Um, this has a very high rank. It's like a million in kitchen. So again, I had to go to Keepa to get some history on it. The history is I should be able to sell this for about 18 bucks, but I don't know how fast really it's going to sell. Keepa looked like um, there weren't a whole lot of sales. So I didn't want to buy a bazillion of these. I only bought five to test. If they start selling really well, I will go back and get more. Oh, I wish they had more of these too. My goodness, I paid $10 for uh, these, these water filters and they are selling for 50 on Amazon. No kidding. Okay, I did clean off the shelf on these canister sets. Good rank. Paid $3 a piece for them. They are selling for 20 bucks a piece. That is a lot of money right there. Got some... Oh, what is this here? Oh, there we go. STP engine stop leak. Okay, so I paid $1.49 for these, and currently there's only one FBA at 25 bucks a bottle. Now that is ridiculous. Here's another example where it's handy to go to keep up because I can't imagine somebody paying 25 bucks a bottle for the engine stop leak. Well, they're not going to, and that's why the rank was so high, because if you look at the Keepa graph, it shows that Amazon jumps on this listing every now and then at $6 a bottle, okay? And that's when the stuff sells. So, since Amazon is out of stock right now, I'll list these for maybe 12, 15 bucks, and I will sell them. Again, did not clean off the shelf, just grabbed a few to test them. Got some, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a hitch cover. Okay, I did not grab all of these because a lot of these were in really crappy condition, like torn and stained and whatever. I just grabbed the ones that were in decent condition. Uh, wireless task light, paid five bucks a piece for those. Those will sell for 20. This is really interesting. Um, this is a moisturizing cream. It has um, kind of a high rank on Amazon, uh, but there's no um, FBA, there's only Merchant Fulfilled. But the price is around $20 a jar, and I paid 99 cents a piece. Now, they had a lot more of these, so again, if this starts to sell really well, I will go back and get more. Diaper bags, 75 disposable diaper bags. This has a very, very low rank in baby, meaning these will sell very fast. Again, there is no FBA. I paid $1.19 a piece for them, and I will uh, price these about $9.75, I think. So that is a good $200 net profit for me. Glacier Bay shower heads, uh, bought them for $6.99 a piece. Those will sell for uh, $25 a piece, another good profit. Check out this garden clock. This is so pretty. 
Um, this had a halfway decent rank in lawn and garden, and again, no sellers. I paid $6.99 a piece for them. I will list them at $30 a piece. This, you can't see this, they had one open there. Um, or no, they didn't. I actually uh, found this on Amazon, a picture of the actual bird carving. It's kind of pretty. Um, this had a really high rank. Keep a show that it did not sell very often. So again, I did not clean off the shelf. I only bought four of them to test. Paid $3.99. I will list that for around 50 bucks. They had a big bookshelf. I only got two titles that had some decent profit to them. Look at all these wood puzzles. These are so cool. Um, I went really deep on these. Uh, I only paid $1.99 a piece for them. I will list them for $14 a piece. The rank is not fantastic, so they're not going to sell really quick. Um, but they will sell eventually. Uh, it might take a year or two to sell all these. But Peter Rabbit never goes out of style, you know? I mean, if this was Frozen 2, I'd be a little hesitant about going so deep on something like that because, you know, eventually there's going to be Frozen 3 or there's going to be another Pixar movie. But Peter Rabbit, he's 100 years old. And Peter Rabbit is always popular. So that is a long-term investment for me right there. Here's another test. They had a ton of these hanger sets. They're really cool. Heavyweight, velvet. Um, I only paid $4.99 a piece for them. Uh, this had rank, a really low rank actually, in home, uh, but no sellers. So I bought 20 of these to test. I will price them around 30 bucks a piece. And if they start to sell really well, I will go back and get more. This is what I am most excited about. And I did clean off the shelf of these. These are Philips Bluetooth speakers. You can tell there's different colors here. Pink, white, black, purple. Um, most of these that I scanned, oh, there's a few others here um, that are different designs, different uh, brands. But these right here, uh, most of these that I scanned had a low rank and no sellers at all. Um, I believe this is a discontinued item. The one that did have sellers was the white and it was priced at $29.00. So, I paid $3.99 a piece for these, uh, probably 4 bucks in Amazon fees. That means I will make a net profit of 20 bucks on each speaker. So, this right here, this is a $1,000 net profit in this stack. My total bill at the discount warehouse was $1,100, and you heard almost all of it is made right there. And everything else is, you know it gravy leave me some comments let me know what you think tell me what you're finding in your sourcing